Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast on my single player world. So last episode we set up the MFSU down here and I was waiting for it to fill up and I was just monitoring the status of all my machines and things. Talked about I was going to move my chests. Well yeah, I kind of gone around and moved things around a bit. Rolling machine I moved here and dust or just a regular blast furnace I inset in the ground so it's not taking up a whole bunch of space above ground. There really is no reason for it to be above ground. Just so you can click on it, it's all you really need. Um built this guy, I'll talk about that in a moment. Kinda played around with the way uh I have these machines hooked up here. Uh before I believe I had a battery box sitting right there. Uh, but instead, I kind of switched things around. Actually, I'm not sure. I think this industrial electrolyzer probably needs a higher voltage power. I think that might be in the wrong spot. Uh, but I moved the medium voltage transformer uh, one block below ground. So this is an MFE right here. I have, well, let me just break this block, I guess. Yeah, there's the transformer there. I got the gold, or not golden, uh, the glass fiber connecting to this, this connecting to a low voltage transformer here, and this is going to power everything. So I've got rid of the battery box that I had uh, up here. Don't think I really need that at all. Okay, so this medium voltage transformer is going to provide the power here. So essentially the MFSU down below will be providing this direct power these low voltage machines will be drawing power off of the MFE. And then I can use this to charge up tools or whatever. Uh, people were telling me tools recharge faster in the MFE. I don't think that's actually true because I've tried recharging tools before in a battery box and MFE. Like for instance a jetpack and they seem to be about the same speed. Now I know there are some tools that you can only charge in an MFE or an MFSU and those well, I guess they would charge faster since if you put them in a battery box, they just won't charge. Uh, but yeah, I decided since you, I can recharge all of my things from an MFE, I might as well just put the MFE above ground. So I have rerouted the wiring and all of that stuff. Okay. So I have moved the chest from over here, over here like I said, and I've gone from the double chests to iron chests. Now these hold the same amount as a large chest or a double chest, but they take up the space of a single chest and you can stack them right next to each other. Also they can be upgraded I think to a gold chest and then diamond chest uh, to hold more. I think there might be another upgrade after that. Could be wrong, but yeah, this is kind of like my miscellaneous chest right here, different, different mod items, not really sure what they all do. This is all my industrial craft, build craft stuff. The things that I use the most for right now. Uh, these are all the miscellaneous Zycorium and other... I'm not really sure what all these things are. I think this is from Thalmcraft. In fact, all of those might be Thalmcraft. Let's see. These are all my valuables. Oh, yeah. Check that out. 51 diamonds. <laughs> okay, wood. Uh, random blocks and things. I should order that. There we go. This one's just uh, random drops. I found some dungeons. And is weight, is that a normal disc that you can get in vanilla? I don't know. But I found that, I believe, in a dungeon. Hmm. So this is all the mob drops I'm keeping in here. Oops, sorry, check that one. And like plant items and things go in this chest. Okay, so yeah, just kind of move things around, organized a little bit. Just, the place was looking pretty messy, but now I think it's looking a little bit better. So today, finally, I would like to hook up the industrial blast furnace. And I think we have everything all set to do this. So I was looking at the recipe. Let's do this one more time. Industrial blast furnace. Oh, actually, I guess before we do that, uh, I did make a jetpack. Treated myself to this guy after I got the MFSU down below completely full. It's sitting at 10 million EU of power right now. So yeah, we got that all done. In fact, I should probably turn this off. Yeah, I moved this MFE, drew 600,000 600, uh, EU of power from down there and then 
My lava supply started going down, so I turned that back on. Okay, but yeah, I made an electronic jackpack to, uh, kind of like a celebratory thing for getting that all hooked up and all of that stuff. So now I can fly around, which is really cool. Okay, but, so I was looking at the recipe for this induction furnace. Let's look at it. And, was it this? No, not the induction furnace. What am I talking about? The industrial blast furnace. This guy. Yeah, and okay, so we have the induction furnaces. These aren't bad to make. It's just an electric furnace, advanced machine blocks surrounded by copper. And then, yeah, we need two of those. We need another advanced machine block. These are just regular electronic circuits, I believe. If it switches, yeah, that's an electronic circuit. But then I saw these cropo nickel heating coils. And I saw this recipe before, and I was like, oh, that's not bad. We just need copper and nickel. Not a big deal. Well, yeah, it turns out it actually is a big deal because um, this ferrous ingot comes from ferrous ore, and I had smelted all my ferrous ore and turned that into these nickel bars. Uh, yeah, apparently you need the ferrous ingots in order to create this. If you look at that recipe I was switching, you can see it's always got a ferrous ingot in there. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't... I tried this with just nickel, and it seemed like I needed the ferrous ingots too. Hmm... I don't know, maybe I did something wrong. Anyway, um, I went and I mined some more ferrous ore, and then I made one of these guys, an induction smelter, put the ferrous ore in here, it uses sand at the same time to create the ferrous ingots. But looking at that recipe, how it's switching back and forth like that, maybe I did that unnecessarily. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I made uh, these cropo, cro cropo nickel heating coils. Uh, using half nickel ingots and half ferrous ingots. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I think I might have done that wrong, but we made them. So we are all set to go here. This uh, rich slag is a byproduct of the ferrous ore when you smelt it in that induction furnace or induction smelter, whatever that is. Okay, so let's get this industrial blast furnace going. Uh, there's that guy, two induction furnaces. I should actually make one of these for myself instead of using the regular furnace. We got that, and too, too many of these cropo nickel, but you have to make them three at a time. So there's our industrial blast furnace. That's awesome. Okay, so now that we have the industrial blast furnace made, let's go ahead and make our reinforced casing that we need for this. This reinforced casing has a higher temperature than the standard machine casing. Not as much as the advanced machine casing, but when we need to upgrade to this, we can go ahead and do that. I'm sure by that time we'll have plenty of resources, so it won't be a big deal. So to make the reinforced casing, we need the advanced machine blocks. I got this all ready to go. And we need these. Looks like it's nine per, right? There we go. And nine. Yep, there we go. And then the advanced circuits, and there is our reinforced machine casing. Awesome. So now, 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 we should be ready to do this. Uh, I think I kind of want it matching up with this slightly. So if we go like this. I don't know if the industrial uh, uh, blast furnace has to be sitting right here at the bottom or if it would be sitting at the top. if I'll probably find that out later and if so I will probably inset this in the ground like I've done this one so it's not a big tower. But for now uh, we are just gonna do this. Build this guy up. This is pretty expensive. Requires a lot of advanced circuits and iron and steel and all of that, so I think that's all we needed to do. And then if we stick this guy there, aha, so it said incomplete machine casing, but now it says heat capacity 1700k. So it does register, it has the machine blocks. So now we just need to hook up some power to this guy. And I think I am going to do it like this. Just bring it over right like that. Aha, so now it looks like it's glowing on top. Um, I think. I think we are ready to go here. Okay, so for the industrial blast furnace, let's see, we wanted to make, I'm trying to remember what the item was, oh yeah, we wanted to take the titanium. 
So let's grab the titanium and stick it in there. Let's see, this titanium dust. Finally, 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 finally. Hopefully this works. I think I might need to put something else in here. I'm not sure. Nope, looks like that is it. We got a little status bar. I'm interested in seeing how much power that's drawing from the MFSU down here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's drawing so much power. That's probably going to use a problem. I'm guessing about a million EU by the time this is done. Um, yeah, it's only halfway through right now. Okay, well I'm going to let this smelt up and we will be right back. Okay, so that finally got done smelting, and I forgot to mention this last episode, but my cows disappeared, and I don't know where they went. Um, and the hole they're in kind of got filled in, and yeah, so that at least they're not making noise over here anymore. Hmm, wonder where they went. Okay, so we can put this iron into our furnace. Let me show you these overclocker upgrades, how fast it makes this electronic furnace. So, or, I'm sorry, this electric furnace. So if I put the iron in there, eh, smelt, 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 kind of slow. Add those in there. Oh yeah, super fast. Now I'm actually going to take three of these because we need them. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I have my four titanium ingots. So we are set. So let's go ahead and get some stuff made here. Okay, so I wanted to make a couple of more of these advanced... Oops. Oop, 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 oop. Can't do that. I need to split this. We'll make some regular of these uh, electronic circuits. Man, I am not using my words today. Okay, so make some of those. Very good. Make a couple more of these things. Put those there. Some glowstone, a little bit of redstone, and bam! We are ready. Okay, so now we have these electronic circuits. And to make a diamond drill, we need one advanced circuit, two titanium, a mining drill, and three diamonds. Oops. So I need my mining drill, so let's do this. So mining drill, uh, titanium ingots, we need diamonds. No, I think that was right there. And then the advanced circuits. All right, here we go. Diamond drill, number one, and diamond drill. Number two. Okay, so now I wanted to think it's like this, 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 and I think I had the backwards like that. There we go. There's the advanced diamond drill. This is the one that I'm going to be using. And this is the one that's going to go into the quarry. So let's look up quarry. I forget the recipe already. <laughs> oh, right. That's okay. So we needed. Three, four, five, six, seven iron gears, two gold, and two diamond gears. And is this an advanced or is this a regular? That is an advanced. Okay. <laughs> Forgot I had to make all that stuff too. So let me get that going and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. I think we are all set now. So let's go ahead and make ourselves our quarry. Advanced circuit... We need some, like, iron gears up in here somewhere. I think I've done this incorrectly. Iron gear there and there, I think. And then this. Yep, there we go. There's our quarry. Awesome. Been a long road to get to this little guy. But now that we have it, still can't use it. Uh. <laughs> no, what I want to do, though, is I want to start looking at touching that oil that's over there. I want to pump that oil. I want to turn it into fuel. And the fuel, we will run combustion engines, and the combustion engines, I think, we will use to run this quarry. Another option we could do is to have the quarry running off, say, magmatic engines and use this lava here. But then we would need to set up another magma crucible, and we would need to go into the nether and mine a whole bunch of more nether rack. And while that would work, and it is easy to do... I don't like the fact that I have to go and mine blocks and stick in the magma crucible to make power and have to keep, you know, checking on it to make sure everything's going. Uh, this oil well over here has so much oil in it. Uh, they, they usually go down about 20, 30 blocks in the ground and then there's like a big circular thing full of it. And you, I think 
maybe 20 of these tubes worth of oil generally. I don't know the exact amount, but we need to look at making a refine. Well, I guess we need to make a pump. We also need to make a refinery. So let's look at the pump. No, it's this, this pump. There's two different ones. This is the one we want. I'm not quite sure what this one is. Uh, but to make the pump, we need a mining well. And this is pretty simple. Just an iron gear, some iron, iron pickaxe, and a piece of redstone. So I think we can make all of that. Let's get that. So we need to make the iron pickaxe. Right. And then what else was it? It was uh, an iron gear. So we just need to make some sticks, put some cobblestone around those, put it some iron around those. Very simple to do. And then we'll wrap that in iron finally. Okay, so I th think that was it, right? It was just this and then some iron. Yep. Okay, so there is our mining well. Now to turn this into a pump, we just need to add a tank. Okay, so there's our tank. There's our mining well. There is our pump. Awesome. Now, we have the pump. Uh, the pump will go down the uh, <laughs> the geyser. The oil geyser can think of that word. The The pump will automatically go down there and drain all the oil from there. What we need to do is pipe that back to wherever we want to hold it using uh, waterproof pipes. So if we stick the cactus in there, I made three more overclocker upgrades during that cut, by the way. <laughs> and I found out that you can macerate cobblestone and it turns into sand. So yeah, I'm doing that because my sand supply is pretty low right now. And we're going to need sand for tanks to, for storage. So that's what I'm doing. So the uh, cactus green, let's just do this super fast. <laughs> Those overclockers are awesome. Right, so I need glass and I think... I think stone or cobblestone for the the piping. Let's see. All my stuff is now in a place where I'm not sure where it all is. There's our glass. And stone. I think I'll use stone. Okay, so stone on either side. Glass in the center. Um, I think I'm just going to make it all. Yep. Let's do stack and a half. Beautiful. Okay, now I need the cactus green to turn those into... The waterproof pipes and I think at this point we're gonna be using up pretty much all of my cactus supply did I take a full stack of cactus over here I can't remember uh, might have been maybe not quite a full stack okay so the cactus green turns into the pipe waterproof and then you just take those and mix it with that and then you got uh, something to move liquids around also we are going to need a wooden waterproof pipe which we already have very good uh, let's see what else we have the cobblestone waterproofs we have some extra tanks to get us started uh, redstone engines I believe the pumps can run on one single redstone engine but those are slow so I think what I like to do or what I've done in the past I mean is hook up four redstone engines to these things just to get it going that much faster so let's look up redstone engine I think these are pretty simple. Yeah, some wooden gears, glass, and some wooden planks. And I think these are one of the recipes you cannot use the fir wood on. So I'm going to use regular jungle wood will be fine. So we needed some wooden gears. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these. 16 is more than enough. Uh, wooden gears, pistons, glass. Pistons, glass, and then wood planks. Okay, so there's our four pipes. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> not pipes, redstone engines. Right, so now we have the redstone engines. We have the, the waterproof pipes. We have the pipe waterproofing over here done. Should probably cook up the rest of this cactus. Stick that in there. Not quite sure how much I need, but our cactus farm will refill that over time, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so cactus green, we'll turn it into this, and we'll turn the stone transport pipes into that. Okay, so let's go hook up this well. I need cobblestone. And I think it's this one. Yep, cobblestone. 
Very good. We are well on our way to getting going here. Alright, so the well starts, I believe, at this block right there. Oop. Yes, I think that is the, the block that that starts at. So let's put a piece of cobblestone right there. And we will put the pump right above this. Yeah, there we go. This little tube starts going down. This doesn't destroy anything and you can walk right through it. It goes down to the next available source block, I believe. So it's only down to about right there. You can kind of see the yellow. Right, so now we want to hook up the uh, redstone engine. So if we stick a redstone engine there, we stick one here, we stick one there. And I'm going to stick one on top and I'm going to use this block right here as the way for the oil to go. Now we want to power these so they need a redstone signal to be turned on. So let me break out some of these and put some blocks there. Just do some sticks, make a couple of levers real quick. Very good. That in there. Now those are ready to go. Um, next step is just to take the uh, waterproof pipe. Whoops. Is that right? Do I need the wooden one? I can't remember. I think I'm going to put the wooden one there anyway. Alright, so let's bring this over. Whoops, <laughs> I got to be careful when you're placing those pipes. Before you turn this on, uh, get rid of any of those extra ones that you may have placed like that. Yeah, this is not easy to do <laughs> with a jetpack, even though I have it in hover mode. Um... Kind of want to just bring it over, where are we at right now? Let me just kind of stop for a minute and see where we're going. Hmm, where do I want to start the first quarry? I'm thinking probably right there in the middle of the water in the ocean area would probably be a decent place to do it. I don't think I have mined much of that area. I do have a branch mine there, it looks like. Um... Would it be better to put it over this way, over here, in the back, where I never go? This one, this side might be better. <laughs> Plenty of ocean. Now that's something you also got to consider when you're doing a quarry, is if the quarry runs into lava, it stops. It will not go. So if you do this in the ocean, not only do you start at the lower ores faster, but the ocean water will run down and turn all the lava into obsidian or cobblestone, and the quarry will be able to continue. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess for now, since this is going to take a while to get going, and we need to refine a lot of this, I think I'm just going to stick the refined stuff over here, and then I can pump it around later to where I need it if I want it someplace else. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some of this stuff. I'm going to continue to lay this pipe out, and we will be right back. Okay guys, so here we go. I have a tank all set up. This should contain enough space for all the oil. If not, I have more cobblestone grinding up over there and smelting into glass so we can make more of these tanks. And yeah, just have this pipe pretty straight shot all the way over here to our pump. And all we gotta do is just flick these guys on. All four of those redstone engines should start providing this pump power and we should see oil start coming out unless we cannot use that pipe which I think that might be the case I think yeah I'd, we probably don't need that wooden pipe <laughs> so let me grab where is stone waterproof yeah I wasn't sure if we needed that wooden one or not oh actually look it's going regardless and I forgot to remove this extra thing, so wait for all the oil to get out of there, break that guy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I guess you don't need the wooden pipe here, just the regular stone all the way down. And as you can see, this is bringing down those source blocks. This guy keeps going down lower and lower. And I believe if we go all the way down here, yeah, you can see this oil well goes down quite far. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go all the way down there and drown. <laughs> this is just like water, even though it's not really water. Okay, so yeah, this will continue to pump out all the oil. Oil will go over here into our tanks. 
or into our tank, one big one, and yeah, I'll collect down here at the bottom. So we are good to go here. So the next step is to take this oil and refine it down into fuel. And to do that, we need to make a refinery. So if we do refinery, we can see that we need a diamond gear, some redstone, and some tanks. So we can go ahead and make this. Yeah, I've used a lot of diamonds today, but it will be worth it. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Need the redstone torches. This will be worth it in the future. So there's a refinery, another four diamonds down the drain. Now we need to make some combustion engines. Combustion engines. Now we're gonna make a bunch of these, more than what we actually need today. Um, let's see, I wanted to make four, I think, yeah. Four of these guys, two of them will run the refinery, two of them will run the quarry once we get that set up. Oh, I don't have the pistons on me, ding, I thought I did. Where are my pistons, there we go. Okay, so this, click that, some iron gear, some pistons, some glass, and iron. Here we go, four combustion engines. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have the combustion engines, we have the refinery, we have the oil going into our tank. Let's sleep. I think the next thing I need to do is actually make one more redstone engine to pump oil from this tank to the refinery. And... Is it stone gears for that? Redstone. Redstone engine. I should remember the recipe for this thing. <laughs> I've made so many of these. So it's wood. Yeah, just one piston and some planks. I just need to grab those planks real quick. Right. So plank, plank, plank. Was it glass, piston, and then gears? Is that what that was? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And then we're going to need a lever to turn that on. Okay, we will need the wooden waterproof pipe. And I don't think I have any more, so I'm just going to make another one. Pretty easy to do. Just take the cactus screen, pipe, pipe waterproof. There we go. Okay, and I think I will probably just stick the refinery right here. So let's put this guy... Yeah, put that down. Nope, <laughs> that's not a refinery. Put that guy... That's facing the wrong way. Oops, gotta watch out, that thing is amazingly powerful. Okay, so fill that back in. There we go, it doesn't really matter which way I'm facing, I just want it facing that way. Okay, and then we need the wooden waterproof pipe. We need that facing the other direction. So let's grab, is it this wrench? I think we can probably, no, I don't think we can use that wrench. Let's try using this one, see if this does something. That no, I think I need. Hmm, can I use this electric wrench? I'm not sure what you can and cannot use this for. Let me take it out of lossless mode. Okay, and then if we click on this thing, nope. I think I need to make the brass wrench for that to work. I thought I had one made, but I guess I don't. Okay, well we can figure that out in a moment. Let's get the redstone engine hooked up. That goes right there. Then we will need a lever right there. So this will pump the oil out. Once I get this pipe turned around the correct way, it'll pump the oil into here. Then we need to power this guy. Okay, so this is where things start to get fun. Um, I think I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. Grab some of that dirt, yeah, put it right there. I need to make what's called an aqueous accumulator and to provide these combustion engines with power. So it's one of these guys, I believe this is from, oh, what <laughs> what is this one? A thermal expansion from that mod. So this is pretty easy. It's a bucket, some tin ingots, a pneumatic servo, which is just some iron and some glass and redstone. Not bad to do. And then this machine frame, which is one gold, some glass, and some iron. Also not bad to do. So let me go ahead and craft that guy up. Let me make a wrench to turn this pipe around, and we will be right back. All right, so I've done a little bit here just to try and get things moving a little bit faster. We, we're almost at the end of the episode, I believe. And, yeah, so 
First off, I made the wrench, which was five bronze. Not too, not too bad to make. So let's just flip that around. So this redstone engine should now pull the oil out of this and into our refinery, right? Yes. So there it goes. Now you can see it's filling up this tank. I believe the refinery holds eight buckets of oil total. So we are all good here. Now, I have the combustion engines laid out on top of each other, going into wooden conductive pipes, into golden conductive pipes, and right into the refinery itself. Okay, so I made the aqueous accumulator, and let's go ahead and throw that right there on this block. It's surrounded by water, and the internal storage you can see is now filling up with water. Should be, yep, there we go, completely full. Now, if we take our stone, no. Not stone. I want to use gold waterproof pipes. These let uh, liquids flow a lot faster, and we do not want these engines to run out of water at all. So it's important to use the uh, the higher vol or higher throughput pipes. Whoops. Now these engines have internal storage of water. They have both water and fuel. Um, with the aqueous accumulator and these golden pipes, they should really never run out of water once they fill up this uh you know makes a lot of water here so we will wait until they fill up and then we can go ahead and try and turn these guys on now to get them started i'm going to use oil oil really isn't the best fuel to use uh fuel is which is what this refinery is going to make once we're done here so let's throw a couple of buckets of oil whoops a couple of buckets of oil in there that'll kick these things on They'll start providing power and get the refinery making fuel. Then once these run out of oil, we can use the fuel that this refinery has made and power these engines. Now, one bucket of fuel will make, oh, I don't even know. It, it does a lot, like it lasts 30, 45 minutes or something like that. So these things will make a lot of fuel just off, you know, two buckets that we will eventually put in there. So let's kick this thing on, get that redstone engine warmed up. And I think we are ready to go to get this thing turned on. Let me make a couple of levers since there's really no good way in this configuration to get these going. Uh, so I will just put cobblestone on this side. And actually, I think I just need one lever and I could put redstone dust on top of this block. Yeah, I think that should do it. So let's just use one lever on the side. Those guys both turn on. And now our refinery is doing something. Awesome. See, it's making fuel already. Got a little bit of yellow in there. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, this is all we need to do for now. This is going to take a while for it to refine all this, fuel, or all this oil into fuel. And once we have a good supply of this fuel, we can look at hooking up a quarry. Okay, so I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Got a lot of stuff done today, used a lot of resources. Um, you can see this thing is kind of flashing colors. It's picking up power, I think. The oil won't let these combustion engines put out as much power as they can. Uh, we want these eventually to flash green. And once we power those engines with the fuel, it should provide enough MJ power for these to be green and to work at maximum efficiency. Okay, let's take a look at our resources real quick before we go. You can see I'm down to 33 diamonds, used quite a lot. Used a lot of iron today. I think I had 20 in this stack, now we're down to one. Yeah, so very resource intensive process that we've done today, but we've made a lot of progress here. Advanced diamond drill, quarry, refinery, pump, getting all of our oil and refining it into fuel. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.